be making a pineapple upside down cake. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the ingredients here that you will need in order to make the pineapple upside down cake. We have here, here we have six ounces of butter. We will need one cup brown sugar. We will need three eggs. We need two cups of flour. We need half a cup of pineapple juice. We would need half, we need um, one eighth teaspoon of salt. We'll need two teaspoons of baking powder. We'll need one teaspoon of vanilla essence. We'll also need two tablespoons of melted butter and a half cup of brown sugar. And of course, we would need some pineapple rings. So these are all the ingredients that we're gonna use to make our pineapple upside down cake. We begin by creaming our butter and our sugar. So we have our butter here. I'm gonna add in our butter. This is six ounces of butter or three quarter cups of butter. Okay, so now that we have creamed our butter and sugar, we just, we're going to now add in our eggs one at a time and we're going to beat well. Now we're going to add in our flour, salt and baking powder alternating with our pineapple juice and we're also going to add in our vanilla as well. So what I'm going to do is just use my spatula and fold in the flour at the end here. See, a nice cake mixture here now, nice and soft. Good, so this is our this is our cake mixture here. So what we're going to do now is get our pan that we're gonna bake our pineapple upside down cake in, and we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so now we have our pan here. Um, this is called a spring foam pan and what we're going to do is our melted butter that we had we're going to spread it at the bottom of the pan so we want to swirl that around because we want to get it all our edges to cover the whole pan okay so we have our butter the bottom of the pan here what I'm also going to do in order to prevent um, any sticking of my sides I'm just gonna lightly this was the the butter here I'm just gonna take some butter and lightly um, rub the side of my cake pan to prevent it from um, sticking too much on me even though this is a, a spring form pan and of course it will be easy for me to remove the, um, the ring around it but I will still likely put some butter here <clears throat> around the pan to help with it coming apart all right so that's it that's, that should be good okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to sprinkle the bottom of the pan now with the wrong sugar that we had we want to sprinkle the bottom of the pan with this brown sugar here now guys um excuse my voice it is a bit hoarse i have been 
out in a sore throat for a while. Anyway, so we sprinkle our sugar at the bottom here. You don't, you don't have to use all the sugar. I mean, the recipe does say um, half a cup, but um, I, I don't think I'm going to use all of it. Um, so it's, it's totally up to you, your preference. I think that should be good. All right, so now we're going to take our pineapple rings. And we're gonna lay it now at the bottom. Okay. So we're just gonna lay our pineapple rings at the bottom of our cake pan. Okay, good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pour our butter now over this Now put this in the oven of course we want to preheat our oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna bake our cake for at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit Okay guys, so I've just taken my cake out of the oven. What I'm going to do is just to make sure and test that it's cooked, I'm just going to take my knife here and just stick it down the middle. Pull it back out, once it comes out clean, we know it's cooked. So now we're going to leave this to cool completely and then I'm going to show you the next step. So our pineapple upside down cake it's finished and it's cooled sufficiently so now we're going to take it out of the spring form pan and we're going to place it on our um, cake stand here now what I should have mentioned is when you are going to put your spring foam pan, if you're using a spring foam pan into the oven to bake, it would be a good idea to place it on a baking sheet with some parchment paper at the bottom so that if any of the butter melts out, it will not melt in your oven but on that baking sheet. So keep that in mind. All right, I'm just going to get a knife and run it along the sides to make sure that it decides it didn't stick and then I'm going to open it up. All right. Well, it didn't really stick, but we still run it. All right, so let's open it up now. All right, now we're going to flip it over. There you have it, folks. Our pineapple upside down cake. Now, some people, they put cherries in the middle of their pineapple rings. I chose not to because I really don't like the artificial um, taste of the cherries. Um, but if you want to put cherries, you can. It's, it's all up to you. It's a personal preference. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
um, be sure to share with family and friends and give the video the thumbs up and um, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Bye for now.